so hungry right now. Wendy's! Ah, oh, man, the neighborhood kids stole another light. I'm back. Hello in the world, hello, I'm Mr. OT, and we got another unboxing. Woo! This one, I decided to surprise Raccoon with a little something different. She doesn't want to stray away from the M4 platform, but I know she wants something a little bit unique. I think I found something, but the issue is I got a notification saying that my package was delivered from e-bike. It actually went to my parents' house. They live about 40 minutes away. Oh boy. One world trip later. So I figure maybe we can work on a different angle here. Let's go ahead and actually just get into the unboxing. Ugh. We got an EMG Hudson 9 playing card, a barrel stabilizer, which I'll explain why here in just a minute, a 6.03 Type 4 inner barrel by Angel Customs. We got Tamiya Dean adapters. I'm gonna unveil this last. And let's get this one out. Get this box out of the way. So what we got here is a Matrix Tactical uh, s and M4. Whew, it's a little dusty. s and M4 G3 AEG uh, Sport Line. Got a high cap mag. Let's get that out of here. Is there anything else? No, that's it. So magazine and gun, but yikes. I don't know if y'all could see that, but it's uh that's pretty dusty so i try to clean it off as much as i can a little disappointing right there so but let's go ahead and get this out of the way again so this is the matrix s and t m4 g3 aeg sport line so this is the one that has the polymer body and that's pretty much something that raccoon would like just something lightweight uh she's familiar with and I mean, overall, it's very light. A little bit of a movement here on the handguard. We won't be needing that much longer because we're about to get into that box here in just a second. Yeah, you got a rotary style hop up right there. And to access your battery is within the stock. And it is, just as I figured, it is wired to Tamiya. If you have a nunchuck style, uh, there's these two little tabs uh, on the crane stock. You can just push out and just remove this cover here. And you got all that battery space right there. It's on safe. I'm gonna point it in a safe direction. All right, there's nothing in there. So, semi. It's a very light trigger pull. And pull auto. Overall, it's it's an okay, not super snappy trigger response. So now we're gonna get into this box over here. All right, so this is a six millimeter striker kit that you put on any M4 variant. So let's go ahead and get this thing. Let's open this up. Ooh. All right, so out of the box, we got the upper portion, so this will be for your inner barrel, top rail, handguard, etc. And it has some really cool LED lights right here. And then next is the um, is the stock portion, which also attaches to the very top here. And this is your battery compartment, and it also has an indicator of when your lipo battery is going to be going out. So. Top being 100%, three bars, 75, two is 50, and then one is 25. So you'll have a good indicator of when you'll need to change out your battery. All right, so it looks like um, it actually, I actually went ahead and got two of these uh, inner barrel stabilizers. Um, because I thought it said on the website that it didn't come with one, so, but I guess that's all good. I mean, if anybody needs one, just uh, hit me up on Discord. 
And then we got some Allen keys and some screws to tighten down your kit. So Raccoon is still at work and I'm gonna go ahead and build all this together off camera. I think conversion kits, even in the airsoft community, YouTube, uh, YouTube doesn't like that. So, and I just rather be safe than sorry, but yeah, I'll at least give y'all her initial reaction whenever she sees it. So after all that, uh, this is what is left. So that definitely took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But if you want to see somebody actually build this kit, Wish Tech did an awesome video explaining how to do it, and I'll link his uh, video in the description. All right, so for the unveiling, the striker itself, pretty sick, I got to say. There's a little switch right here, and to kind of show you what it, what it does, it has a little green LED. All I'm just saying is this thing is definitely a tracer unit build for sure. These do take LR44 watch batteries. It's a pretty cool build. Um, your charging handle still works and it goes back just enough. Let me just get a mag in there. But let's see what it looks like with a regular mag instead. bad not bad at all i do want to talk about this right here so this becomes your new battery compartment so there's uh you just pretty much push up on it there's these little tabs right here that hold it in place as you can see i went ahead and installed the little dean's uh to me adapter on them don't worry guys eventually i'll switch it over to dean's this is my wife's build so and she still uses to me but we're going to be testing the 11.1 1400 milliamp battery here and if you're wondering what this little wire is sticking out i'll show you that here just take your lipo battery plug it in right here like so you have a battery indicator and that is really cool so the top so obviously when you have all four bars, it's full. Once you get down to three bars, it says 75% charge, 50% and 25. So you'll at least know when your battery is gonna go out. And let me just complete the look at that. Ooh, Raccoon's gonna be so thrilled. I think she just pulled into the house. So let's go surprise her. Baby, hey, close your eyes. He's gonna guide you right here. See, your eyes closed. If you put a spider in my hands, I'm screaming. <sighs> Damn it. Hold out your hands. When I say three, I want you to open your eyes, okay? Nothing's in my hands yet. <laughs> One, two, three. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, and it's got the battery indicator. <laughs> well guys that's about does it for this video again make sure you like comment subscribe be sure to hit the bell so you get notifications of whenever i drop a new video Bing. be sure to subscribe to raccoon everything's is in the description all the links all the socials everything so i will see you guys in the next one adios